What do most people do on social media? In the real estate industry, most people, you go to a real estate agency's Facebook page or even a LinkedIn profile for a real estate agent, listing, listing, new team member, Friday drinks, it's all about them. They are not listen to what their audience is interested in at all. It's all me, 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 me. And that's why there's only one like and no one's looking at it because the audience doesn't care. They're only catering for a very, very small portion of the audience. People might be interested in buying a five bedroom house in Dalkeith. There's only a small portion of that agency's audience. It's too far at the top of the customer journey. I'll write this neatly, so. This is a customer journey map. Where a lot of um, business owners will get unstuck is they get some advice from a marketer or they read a blog or they, or they download a PDF from Facebook or LinkedIn and they've got some advice but they haven't got it in the context of where it applies in the customer journey. The first step in a customer journey is awareness. Yep, need recognition. There's a few different ways you can explain it, but basically being aware that you have a problem, yep. Then you've got consideration, where you're considering the alternative solutions to the problem. And then you've got <coughs> decision. This is where you're already speaking to a potential solution and you're deciding whether or not to, to buy, basically. If you don't have any information about the people that you're targeting, if it's just a post on an organic LinkedIn profile or organic Facebook page, you need to cater for this part of the customer journey. There's no point catering for this portion because it's going to be like 1% of your audience. If no one engages with it, chances are that 1% is not even going to see your post. It always has to come back to here.